Oh, it's starting. Hello, 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 everyone. This is Teresa Sidario, your Jersey Mama. And once again, I am cooking in the kitchen. And I haven't been around since our last video, which I'm very, very sorry. Um, hello there. Uh, which I'm very sorry because evidently the uh, speaker or the, the button on the, um, on the iPad had uh, um, been turned off. So I was able to hear myself, but nobody else was able to hear myself. So I'm going to have to do a repeat and on, the, um, on what I cooked. And we'll do that at another time. But today, uh, I'd like to welcome everybody. Hello, everyone. I'm glad that everyone's able to come on. Um, today, first of all, I just want to say that I am not a chef, I am not a nutritionalist, but I do, this thing comes out so small, I do enjoy cooking and this is why I'm doing it because sometimes, you know, your family don't like it as much as, as I mean, they could get used to stuff, but anyway, when I cook like this, they really, really like it. So I don't cook like this all the time, just on special occasions. And, and now it gives me a reason to um, cook them better meals, something that they like, even though we downsize. But today I invited some people over for dinner and I am actually taping from my shore house. So I want to welcome everybody today. Um, if you like what I'm cooking, please show me some hearts. If you're catching a replay, just type in replay. If you um, want to, if you want to share my video, please feel free to share my video, and also go to my Facebook page, Cooking Live with Jersey Mama, and like my page, and feel free to share any one of my recipes on that page. That page was uh, purposely put out, so this way I can just put upload all my uh, videos that I've done so far, and um, and any of the recipes. You can uh, get them. I don't write recipes. Why? Because I have a visual loss, and, and not many people know this. In my left eye, I'm uh, centrally blind, and my right eye, I have a myopic macular degeneration. So I don't write down vid. I don't write down recipes. But feel free to grab your pencil and paper, so this way you can write it. I will also put in the comments um, what I used because I do take pictures out. Uh, take pictures of, of what I've made. So today, so you'll be able to get a, a bird's eye view on basically what, what I cook, okay, and what you get from the super from the supermarket. Um, so today I decided I was going to make a chicken with a lem like a lemon butter sauce, and I sliced up fresh Rome tomatoes. I'm going to show you what I did here. So if, if anybody can't see because of the comments, please swipe to the right and you'll be able to see more of what I'm cooking. So um, these are sliced, to, uh, sliced uh, lemons that I'm going to put in there. And I bought Rome tomatoes, so I cut them up, I sliced them, because you're only going to need a few. You don't want a tomato to taste, but I always like that tomato. You can omit that, you don't have to have it. And I also have garlic, uh, some chopped up garlic, some uh, parsley, fresh parsley from my garden, and some fresh basil, okay? So let me put that over here so I can see it. And then I also have lump crab meat. I bought this from the supermarket. Sometimes you can get it in a can by uh, Cuisinart, or not Cuisinart, something. You can buy it in there where the fish is. But it's in a can, but because, well usually the can is bigger. And because there's only there's only a few of us, I don't need the real big can, so I'm, Lo and behold, they had it in a smaller container, so I was happy about that. Okay, let's see here. Let's turn that down because these are stainless steel pans. These are actually chef pans that uh, someone had shared with me. So what I did was, now you can add butter. You don't have to add the butter. You can add butter to this. Uh, I just added olive oil. And I had already went ahead and pre uh, pre-cut my chicken cutlet and what I did was I put the chicken cutlet in between two pieces of plastic after I, I was done and I tenderized it with this little hammer and then I soaked it in, uh, in butter uh, what am I saying soaked it in butter I soaked it in egg and then breadcrumbs 
okay? So I am going to head and I am going to put some garlic. A little too high. These pans you gotta watch because they get really they get really hot. And you want your, um, if you were going to use butter, now would be the time you would put the butter in with the olive oil. I'm not using the butter because I'm still watching um, and still on that uh, diet and still using the product called Trend, which knocks away your belly fat. This is where I'm going to put some lemon. Just to give it a little bit of flavor, I'm going to turn it over, okay? And then I'm just going to remove it, just a little bit. I'm just going to remove it, and I am going to add it back there with a couple more lemons. Okay. So I got the chicken, and I already breadcrumb. I did some breadcrumbs, but I'm going to stick it back into the egg mixture. Now you can do this with uh, flour. It's done, a lot of people do it with flour. It just gives the, the chicken a different texture on the front. I think I could fit one more in there. I did cut up a lot of chicken today, so I'm going to make a chicken marsala. I already breaded it. I figured I'll make the chicken marsala for tomorrow. I always like to add some Chardonnay. Where is my washcloth? This is very, very easy, folks. So if you have any comments, I'll be happy to answer them. After, um, after I'm done, I will answer any questions you guys might have, and um, hopefully they'll be the correct one for you. Now, I have, oh, you know what? I do need salt and pepper this. I'm sorry. I also made an acorn squash, and, and it comes in already in a plastic container. I did not cut it. I don't like cutting that stuff. So like the supermarket, you pay a little more, but it's still good. Because the chicken is cut so thin, you're not going to want it to cook a lot. Only because of the fact um, you are going to cook it in water and you don't want the, ch the chicken. So you only leave it on for a couple of minutes on one side. And with the flour, if you flour it or do a, um, a breadcrumb on top of it, they also have gluten-free breadcrumbs. That's after you're done turning it over once and you're cooking it. This is where what I do with it. This is where I add the wine. These are very easy, simple meals. I'm going to re-add the lemon to it while it's cooking so it releases in that juice. And this is where I'm also going to add, I'm gonna let that clean up, hold on one second. I'm sorry, I'm not looking in the camera. So how's everybody doing since the last time I saw everybody? Hope everybody's doing good. Everybody's getting ready for the summer. I'm actually going to be down the summer now for the rest uh, for the rest of the season, except for Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll be back at my other house. Um, we haven't sold that yet, but we have um, had some some people go through it so far. But I'll be I'll be down here for the summer. So I'll do most of my my stuff here and. Um, I'm going to throw some of the plum tomatoes in there. 
So this way I get a little bit of a tomato flavor, not a whole lot. I really don't want, but I just like just a hint of, of the tomatoes. I use the olive oil that's from this company that I always get my olive oil from, and it's in Hamilton, New Jersey. It's called Tales of the Olive. They are on the internet, so if you type in Tales of the Olive and look for Hamilton, Hatton, no, wait a minute, Hamilton, New Jersey, H-A-M-M-O-N-T-O-N. They also have wonderful balsamic vinegars, so and they also have regular vinegars and other types of oils. I'm going to throw in some fresh parsley. I'm going to give this another flip. Get those tomatoes down in there. Just so it comes up with a little bit of a tomato base. You can add a little bit of more olive oil in this if you find that it's not... Um, where is it? I put my olive oil in this. I just think it looks prettier. And it comes out lighter in this fish jar. It doesn't come out as much. Put that tomato in there. Now I'm on baby. I also uh, made a... Oh, God, that looks good. Okay. When you bread it or flour it, what's going to happen is it makes its own sauce. So you don't have to worry about the sauce making it its own, um, uh, like a thickness to it. You're going to turn that off because, baby, it's done. After you tenderize the meat, it cooks faster. And it's also, when you tenderize it, 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 can, it just melts in your mouth. It's very, very good. I am going to uh, put some warm crab meat in this. And I'm going to get it with the juices. You can add more lemon to this if you like. You can also, um, hmm, you can also do this. Let me get a plate. So this way you get that taste of the long crab meat and the sauce take the chicken out. Now I'm cooking. Let the chicken cook in that tomato, or let the um, lump crab meat cook. Let it get in with the uh, the lemon and the tomato. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this one because I don't want anybody to say, "Hey, he got more crab meat than I did." Okay, let's turn this on a little bit. You can squeeze some extra lemon, but because I have already have some lemon already in there, lemon juice already in there, you can add a little bit more wine, just a little. To that. This way it absorbs the flavor. And then you can put your you can put your chicken back in that too. Oh, that smells good. Mmm. I don't you could add some oregano to this. I don't find, you know, I got a thing with oregano oregano. It just doesn't do anything to my palate. Why bother putting it in? If it, it doesn't do anything, but if you like it, go right ahead. And I'm going to put this right back in there. Oh my God, if you should smell what's coming out of my kitchen right now. Oh my God. 
You know what? Okay. okay. I'm going to turn that off. I only have one cover for this one, so I'm going to cover that one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I was away this past weekend, and I was up in Ellicottville, New York. What a quaint little town. It reminded me of a place called Collingswood uh, down here in New Jersey, in South Jersey. And it's just a lot of little quaint shops, people that make homemade. I mean, the, there was a guy that made his woodwork. I mean, he, he's a not a cabinet maker, but I guess a woodsman, a woodmaker. He makes furniture and tables and all of that. Really, really, really nice stuff. Um, there was a lot of boutiques. There was people that had uh, some restaurants there. So it was a nice little place. Usually they get like thousands of people, but because of the weather, we didn't expect to get what we normally, you know, what they normally do. But I went there because my uncle, so if you live up in that area or near Ellicottville, New, uh, New York, my cousin owns a tanning salon. It's the only one within the air so many miles from the other one. It was, it's a, it's called Aurora Light and Bronze. And um, it's off one of the main streets. It's really a nice little place. She also has this wrap. You could do a spray tan. You can do your regular tanning and a stand up or a lay down. And she has this machine that you wrap uh, yourself around it and um, you lay on this bed and it helps with your circulation women were coming out with my, that were coming in with migraine headaches were actually having um, having results with the migraine not being there so it helps with your blood circulation and everything you know my cousin's uh, diabetes went down she really had some really good results going to a place and then she decided she was going to open up her own business and that's where she went so what I also did was I made, oh, I forgot the basil. Oh, you got to put the basil in there. I'm sorry. That's why I got the basil. You want the fresh basil in this. I'll let that cook in the juices. Okay. I used about uh, three basils and I also put, um, one plum tomato sliced thin. So if anybody's taking notes, it was one plus one tomato sliced thin. It was one lemon sliced thin. And, um, you know, I put the olive oil around it so this way the chicken had time to cook. I used about four cloves of garlic chopped. And, um, hmm, oh, wait a minute. And that's it. I was supposed to put chicken broth in it, but I forgot to put the chicken broth. But you know what? It's all good because it's the, the taste is still going to be there. I had also made roasted uh, acorn squash. Where's my pot holders? There we go. I put that in the oven for 45 minutes with just some salt, pepper, and uh, white onion. I used a white onion. I, there we go. And then I put some olive oil, salt and pepper on the top. So this is what your acorn squash. It was chopped. I already brought it, bought it already cooked because I'm not one to cut up the acorn. It's a little hard to cut up, but I, um, I bought it already cut. Like I said, you pay a little bit more, but it's okay because it's less work for you have to do, right? Right. So while we were there, she had some people there that came in. There was a psychic, uh, Carolyn, uh, and her uh, her wife who were there. Um, she's a, Mickey, a Reiki master. And um, then we went out to dinner with Carolyn and her wife at the casino because my cousin actually, even though she owns her own business, she still has to work too because she just started the business. So she was um, going to, uh, we went out to dinner with this couple and we had a wonderful time, and I had a fabulous salad. It was arugula beet with uh, walnut and um, blue cheese. I omitted the blue cheese. So what I did was I went to the store. I bought some arugula, and I also um, bought a couple beets. I boiled the beets yesterday, and then I stuck them in the refrigerator, and today what I did was I just... Um, I just sliced them up and I put, I put this from the tails of the olives. I put the uh, cranberry pear vinegar and I matched it with the walnut, uh, uh, walnut oil, salad dressing oil.
And because I already pre-mixed it, you can also, you can, um, because I already have the salad dressing mixed in with this, you just put the, the beets in. It already has the salad dressing. I already seasoned it with salt and pepper, but I'm gonna season it again. That's the pepper, that's the salt. If you had um, blueberries, here's another idea. Sorry, I'm trying to get a spoon. If you had blueberries, you could put blueberries in this. Very, very healthy for you. And there goes my walnuts that were chopped. Blueberries, I mean, um, blue cheese, which I don't eat, but I will plate this. This was very, very good, and it's full of uh, antioxidants from the, from the, um, from the beets. Now you can also shave Parmesan on top of this if you do not care for the the um, the blue uh, what's it called blue cheese. I never tasted blueberry uh, beets until I was over at my girlfriend's house one year, and we're talking maybe 15, 20 years ago. We were all getting ready for a pool party, and her mother was was um, making beets, and she put butter and salt and pepper on it when it was done. It was hot, and she took it off, and oh, I, I thought I fell in love. Let me taste it. Mmm. It's just enough... Um, salad dressing, just enough balsamic, and just enough olive oil. I don't like my salads really, really that um, oily. Mmm. That's good. Okay. Now to go after the chicken. A piece of tomato, some of the crab meat, Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay. And the acorn squash. I never had acorn squash until my sister-in-law actually made it. And it was different. I thought it was sweet potatoes. But it wasn't. And she made it with sweet potatoes. It was really, really good. That's kind of hot. You got to be careful with those pans. They're really hot. I got to taste this for you. So if you like what you see, please share the video. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments and I'll be able to answer any questions that you might have. And if you I like to go to my page, if you're new to me, uh, you can go to my page, Cooking Live with Jersey Mama. And you can share any of the videos that I have there because it's done to the public. I appreciate everybody coming on. Okay. I gotta taste it. Yeah, you gotta give a taste test because you gotta taste to see if it's poison. And you gotta have that sweet. I mean, this acorn squash is delicious. Mm. Damn. That's good. That's real good. I'm sorry. I'm eating in front of you and you're probably all starving. But anyway, 
My name is Teresa Sidario. I am your Jersey Mama. I thank you for coming on and I'm hoping I get some responses. If you've made any of my dishes, please comment what you've made. Um, and what you have, well, you don't have to put what you haven't, but just comment what you made and what you thought and how it turned out for you. So I'm Teresa, I'm Teresa Sidario, your Jersey Mama. Have a good day. Bon appétit.